This is AI News Today. And here's what happened in the world of AI in the last seven days. Let's kick things off with a major shift from one of tech's biggest players. Apple is finally showing signs that it knows it's falling behind in the AI race, and they might just be preparing to buy their way back in. CEO Tim Cook said in a recent earnings call that Apple is now open to mergers and acquisitions as it significantly ramps up its AI investments. That's a big change for a company that's historically played it cautious with acquisitions, but the pressure is mounting. Apple has been trailing its big tech peers on AI, and it's starting to show. Its Apple Intelligence Initiative is lagging behind, and the company has already lost several top AI engineers to competitors like Meta. Internally, they've even discussed acquiring the AI search startup Perplexity, according to Bloomberg. Meanwhile, Cook says Apple is embedding AI across all devices and platforms, and they've reassigned a fair number of employees to focus on AI features company-wide. But even with a more personalized Siri in development, Apple's own SVP of software admitted the new version still isn't reliable enough for broad release. So what does this all mean? Apple's core businesses, like iPhone and services, are still strong, pulling in billions. But when it comes to AI, it's clear Apple is no longer leading the pack. And now, it may be looking for a shortcut to catch up. Now, let's shift to robotics, where things are moving fast. Maybe faster than even Elon Musk expected. Figure A. I just went viral with its humanoid robot, the Zero Two, folding laundry and doing household chores. It's powered by something called Helix, a vision language action model, and its dexterity is turning heads. While the company is still focused on industrial use cases, CEO Brett Adcock hinted that home trials could be coming later this year. Meanwhile, Tesla's own robotics plans are hitting some speed bumps. As EV sales decline, Tesla's fallback strategy, robots and robotaxis, isn't faring much better. They're way behind on humanoid robot production goals for 2025, and California regulations are threatening Musk's dream of rolling out robotaxis across half the U.S. by year-end. It's a reminder that even bold visions still have to deal with real-world logistics. Amazon-backed Skilled AI is also entering the chat. They've just unveiled Skilled Brain, an AI model built to run across almost any robotic platform, from humanoids to factory arms. Unlike competitors, Skilled is using large-scale simulation combined with internet video to train its foundation model in physical common sense. And in one of the most unexpected robotics deployments we've seen all year, Florida has rolled out solar-powered robot rabbits to help control its invasive Burmese python problem. These bots mimic heat signatures and movement patterns of real rabbits to lure the snakes out of hiding. When a python approaches, the bots send alerts to human teams who come in for removal. Now, back to the boardroom. Microsoft is dominating the AI business landscape. The company just smashed earnings expectations and is now poised to join NVIDIA in the $4 trillion club. Azure sales hit $75 billion annually, and their AI-powered co-pilot apps have passed 100 million monthly users. Investors are loving it. Microsoft's shares jumped nearly 9% in after-hours trading. OpenAI versus Anthropic continues to heat up. OpenAI still leads with $12 billion in annualized revenue, but the gap is closing fast. In 2022, they were 20 times ahead. Now, only three times. OpenAI dominates the consumer space with over 700 million weekly users, while Anthropic's enterprise-first approach is fueling aggressive growth. Meta's Mark Zuckerberg is still in hiring war mode, and it's getting expensive. Meta has reportedly offered as much as $500 million to top AI engineers, with one former OpenAI staffer turning down a $1 billion offer over four years. Even Apple has lost four researchers to Meta in the past month alone. Zuck also shared his vision for personal superintelligence, saying Meta's AI is showing early signs of self-improvement. Unlike some competitors focusing on workplace tools, Meta wants AI that helps individuals reach personal goals, not just live off a dole of automated outputs, as he put it. In AI research, a team unveiled a system called ASI-ARCH. It links together three AI agents, a researcher, an engineer, and an analyst, into a feedback loop that builds and tests new model architectures entirely on its own. Early results show it's already outperforming human-designed systems, which could signal a shift toward AI-driven AI development. 
From Singapore, Sapient Intelligence introduced the hierarchical reasoning model. It mimics the human brain by splitting tasks between supervisor and worker modules, allowing for complex reasoning with a fraction of the compute needed by traditional LLMs. This could be a major breakthrough in how we scale smarter, more efficient models. China's Alibaba isn't sitting still either. They've launched a new reasoning model that's outperforming OpenAI and Google in math and code tasks. And it's open source. That means anyone can modify or deploy it. They've also entered the AI wearable space with smart glasses hitting the market later this year. OpenAI is continuing to push consumer tools forward. They've added a new study mode to ChatGPT that guides students step-by-step -step through problem-solving using Socratic questioning. It's an interactive alternative to just getting answers. And in what might become a new content trend, Amazon-backed Fable has launched Showrunner, an AI-generated streaming service being dubbed the Netflix of AI. It lets you watch AI-made shows or even insert yourself as a character. Subscription plans range from $10 to $20 per month. Meta is also changing how it conducts job interviews, now allowing candidates to use AI assistance during coding assessments. The company says it better reflects real-world conditions and, ironically, makes AI-based cheating harder to pull off. But AI isn't a silver bullet for everything. A study from Matiar found that expert developers were actually 19% slower when using AI coding tools, even though they predicted they'd be 24% faster. The culprits? review fatigue, irrelevant suggestions, and too much context switching. On the investment front, robotic startups have seen funding nearly double, reaching $12 billion since 2020. With companies like Waymo planning robotaxis in Dallas and Lyft rolling out robotic shuttles in 2026, the automation race isn't slowing down anytime soon. And finally, voice AI has hit a turning point. People are now spending hours a day in real ongoing conversations with voice assistants. No longer just for alarms and weather, these AIs are becoming full-fledged companions. That's it for today. Make sure to like, subscribe, or follow. And we'll see you tomorrow for more AI news.